intravitreal injection. After taking written informed consent, intravitreal injection should be given inside the operation theater under all sterile and aseptic precautions under topical or subconjunctival or peribulbar anesthesia. Prepare a sterile trolley containing lid speculum, calipers, fixation forceps, sterile cotton tipped applicators, eye drape and pad. Prepare required concentration of antibiotics in separate tuberculin syringes with 26, 27 or 30 gauge needle. Use the finest gauge available but would become immaterial if the same sclerotomy is used as the one used for tap. If you want to inject 0.1 ml take 0.2 ml of the drug to be injected. The method of dilution of different drugs is shown here in the table. After painting and draping, put 5% povidone iodine in the conjunctival sac and allow to stay for 3 minutes. Take an anterior chamber tap before giving the intravitreal injection. Enter from the limbus keeping the needle perpendicular to the plane of iris once the tip of the needle is visible inside the interior chamber, withdraw 0.1 ml of the aqueous into the syringe. Put one drop on two different slides and inoculate the rest of it onto an agar plate for incubation. The withdrawal will give a sample for testing as well as decrease the IOP for further injections. Ensure that there is no leak at the site of entry by a cotton bud. Mark 3.5 mm distance posterior to the limbus in pseudophagic eye with calipers. Fix the globe with fixation forceps and insert 26, 27 or 30 gauge needle. Be well facing upwards and direction towards the midvitreous with the tip of the needle being directly visualized. Take a vitreous tap before injecting the drug. Put it on two different slides and the rest onto the agar plate for incubation. Now change the syringe to the one with the drug without withdrawing the needle from the vitreous cavity and inject exactly 0.1 ml medicine slowly in a drop by drop manner avoiding jet formation which is achieved by rotating the plunger. Use separate syringe and second site for second drug if the two drugs cannot be taken together. Withdraw the needle after administering all injections and press the sclera at the injection site with the sterile cotton bud to ensure that there is no leak. Give subconjunctival injection and patch the eye. It has been suggested that reclining the patient with the head up immediately after the procedure may decrease the risk of the drug settling on the macula and preventing toxic damage. Post intravitreal injection advice There is no need for a prolonged bandaging. Administration of topical drugs may be begun as early as one hour after the procedure. 